Hey guys, we're talking about the difference between a reciprocating air compressor and a rotary screw air compressor. Right here, we have a rotary screw air compressor. It's mounted on a tank with a built-in air dryer. And how a rotary screw air compressor works, we have two screws with tight clearances and they rotate together. And as the volume decreases, that's what makes the high pressure. Uh, it's discharged to the tank and then it goes off into the system. And these are really excellent machines because uh, they can run 100% of the time without needing any downtime to cool. They're really quiet and they're really efficient and it has a nice small footprint. We don't need this air dryer to be mounted and piped somewhere else in the system. It's built right in, so it's a nice small footprint. Based off of what he's saying, going to the next level of compressors, they're sort of actually going a little bit backwards. They're going back to a reciprocating style piston compressor. As you can see with the rotary, it's a compact footprint. It's got a lot, it's a lot quieter. It can run 100% duty cycle. It's a complete package. With the reciprocating, you can see here, yes, it's still a complete package. Our pump is mounted up onto the tank. And basically, it's the same concept as your car. As the piston goes up and down, compresses the air, and pumps it down into the tank. One of the big differences, though, is the duty cycle of what it is. When we're looking at something we're going to run for extended periods on a manufacturing sting for eight hours a day, this style compressor is not what you want to go for. This is more of an intermittent use, a stop-start application. That's when we talk about the duty cycle. So it has its, its goods and bads. The other part that this is a good spot is if we have a location that there's no one around, because the noise levels of this kicks up versus the rotary screw, we have a lot quieter type of application. We're, we're cognizant about what's going on with the noise. So we have just two different fits and really what it comes down to application and budget. So for a rotary screw, this is where, like we talked about, the 100% duty cycle. This thing can run and it doesn't need downtime to cool. So if you're paint spraying, you're sandblasting, you're grinding, you got multiple techs using air, this is ready to handle all of that load. When you get over to the uh, reciprocating style compressor, we have certain applications that it needs to go into. We see a lot of, of car wash applications where they're running for a little bit of a period and they have some downtime. Automotive is, is another thing that we use a lot of reciprocating. This day and age, a lot of guys are going to electric or battery power impacts. They're getting away from the pneumatic impacts so that the compressor can start and stop a lot. And sometimes it only starts three or four times in a day. That's a perfect application for it, the automotive industry. Well, thanks guys. Uh, if you have any questions, drop down in the comment section. Let us know what you're thinking. Uh, be sure to like this video if you learned anything and uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Check out our blog for more.